How to Focus is brought to you by Garage Build. Submit your build, share your passion. Powered by Dennis Kirk. I'm Richard Ruck from Kemp, Florida. Uh, company's name is It'll Ride Choppers. Uh, this is my latest build, uh, call it Semper Amari, which is always forward. It's a uh, 1977 shovel head, hard tailed it, seat post back basically. It is built out, it's still a numbers bike. It does have uh, SNS or Speed and Science uh, top end. It's 93 inch shovel with the SNS flywheels. Started with, uh, it was actually a roller when I got it, uh, kind of a barn find. So old ratty, the intake was off, the, the uh, primary was off. It, it doesn't matter, you usually end up just using the frame in cases. Uh, oil tank is from Tinworks. The gas tank, the fenders and twisted choppers that I uh, shaped for this application. Seat was done by Kurt at uh, Bare Bones, Bare Bones Leather. Front end is a uh, repop of an of a inline springer. Handlebars are tin works. I got uh, bare knuckle risers on it. And uh, the hand controls are custom tech. Paint was done by Paulie Deluxe. Uh, Paulie and Bombshell worked together. He uh, kind of did a, a play on a Shelby Cobra paint job. Just felt like there was a lot of bling in the middle of it and I didn't want to overkill it on the paint job. So I essentially told him to, to picture a, a Shelby Cobra, a traditional, you know, boring Shelby Cobra paint job and, and put his stink on it. So. Uh, he got that Shelby blue and he actually silver leafed the stripes and paneled the tank a little bit. Color matched the frame too. Uh, no, I did the hardtail. It was still intact. It was still, you know, basically a stock bike when I cut it. Um, to do my hardtails, I generally will use uh, soft tail axle plates. It's hacked at the seat post and down on the bottom, I redo the transmission member. The one thing that I do that's a little different, especially with the with the soft tail axle plates is I do run the inch and an eighth on the top. Normally on the shovels, it's a one inch bar on the top. On this side too, it's a it's tech cycle uh, primary uh, that I've kind of machined out. The, the starter positioning is nice. I've, I've uh, used some of the other, you know, build BDLs in, in the past and you're, you're kind of locked in with what you have to do. So when you start working around an oil tank, it's, it's funny how tight these things get as simple as they are. No, I don't have a lot of runtime on it right now, to be honest, because it's just wrapped up and we're taking some pictures of it before we turn anything blue. But yeah, it fired right up. It seems to seems to run idle, kick down pretty good. Hand controls are uh, custom tech. The grips and the pegs, I, I uh, Speed Dealer is one of my favorite favorite vendors, so I, I end up doing a lot of them on a lot of my builds. Uh, custom tech hand controls. I also run a custom tech uh, master cylinder on on those controls. I make those controls. When I actually kind of designed the controls around, I, I saw that custom tech master cylinder and I liked it so much that I got to thinking, how can I make a set of controls around these? And I wanted to go with forward controls on this. I do mids on, on a lot of my bikes because it's a pretty comfortable position for me. I use uh, Du Bois on this one for, for all the chrome. Uh, the polishing, I, I take care of myself. So uh, most of the stuff is actually polished, but Du Bois did the, did the pipes on it, uh, did the kicker, um, uh, kicker lever too. I'm Richard Ruck from Middle Ride Choppers, and you're watching Shop Talk. <laughs>